And flash flooding in Dodge County causes one family needed a boat to access their home. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez is live with the big old mess they are dealing with tonight. Angelica? Yeah, Marion, unfortunately, we're feeling the rain here pick up a little bit. Let me direct your attention to this driveway. That's right. This is supposed to be a driveway behind me, but from what we, well, we could tell, this is roughly about five feet below water. This town of Lomira home is high enough that their main levels are dry, but the same can't be said of their basement. A secluded home in the country now feels more like lakeside property. All I can say is when Mother Nature's fury opens up, watch out. A town of Lamira family is relying on a different form of transportation. Their driveway is somewhere underneath roughly five feet of water. Last night I I was concerned that my parents were in trouble. I called down here and my brother was already here helping and there was water coming in like nobody's business. Joshua Canass rushed to his parents' home Tuesday night just as the area was experiencing flash flooding. I barely made it down here with my own vehicle. Dodge County emergency officials say about four inches of rain fell in a short time span. Most of the cleanup is flooding in residential homes. The Canass family is experiencing an extreme scenario after three decades of living here. Their home is slightly elevated from their driveway, but at least four feet of water rushed into their basement. Everyday household items are floating around. We we don't know what's going to be ruined in the basement. The family suspects recent changes to nearby roads played a role in this unprecedented amount of flooding to accumulate on their property. <laughs> While they navigate how to best flush out their home, they tell Fox 6 they're also getting support from those around them. We've already had a couple neighbors come by and ask, you know, if we needed help, and it's, it's more or less you can't do anything right now until the water's gone. Yeah, and county officials are encouraging the public, be careful if you're out there on the roads. There is some standing water around. They say that while most of the damage last night happened to residential homes, you should still keep an eye out if you're on the highways. Reporting live in the town of Lomire, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Those pictures of their basement, just painful, heartbreaking to see their stuff floating. Yeah, oh. absolutely, guys. Terrible. Yeah. Angelica, thanks. Thanks.